What's up guys? In today's video, we're talking about how to tell your clients that you're pregnant. If you're wondering, hmm, Marie, why are you broaching this random topic? It's because I'm pregnant. Woo -woo, woo -woo, woo -woo, woo -woo. As an Uber planner, I had started preparing for pregnancy two years before my husband and I had intended to start trying to get pregnant. I know, I can be a little extra sometimes. In retrospect, I realized that all this planning is just my anxious side coming out. So whether you planned your pregnancy two years in advance like I did, or whether you didn't know you were gonna be pregnant until your cycle was a bit late, I think this topic applies to all of us prego ladies. Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. So yeah, I'm pregnant. At the time of this recording, I'm 15 weeks along, but by the time I post this, I'll be just about 18 weeks along. I'll try to post a picture of what I look like at 18 weeks somewhere. So let's dive into what I've learned so far about telling your therapy clients that you're pregnant. First things first, not every therapist tells their clients that they're pregnant. Your pregnancy is an incredibly personal experience, so if you don't ever wanna bring it up, you don't have to. However, if you do feel comfortable sharing, I found that therapeutically, it can be quite helpful to tell our clients that we're pregnant, both from my own experience so far and talking to other colleagues who've shared with clients that they're pregnant, it seems like most clients are quite relieved to find out once we share. This is particularly true as it's such a faux pas to ask someone if they're pregnant even when they're at a point where it's completely clear, yeah, they're definitely pregnant. If you do decide to share with your clients, as most therapists do end up sharing that they're pregnant, then it's important to consider the timing of when you decide to share. It's important to consider your client's needs as far as whether they might be, who knows, completely oblivious to anything that's going on for you, even if you are seven months pregnant, or you might be working with a population that notices any slight difference in your body for example, especially if you're working with clients who experience eating disorders, then they might be noticing real quick that your body's changing. It's important to also factor in your own needs when considering when to tell your clients that you're pregnant. Personally, I had initially decided to tell clients once I started showing, which I thought would have been a little bit later than now, but I started showing pretty early before the first trimester was even over. So I spent about a month trying to hide that I was pregnant until I finally felt comfortable to tell my clients that I was pregnant and wear clothing that showed that indeed I am pregnant. So be sure to be mindful of both your needs as well as your clients when you decide when's best to tell them. It's also really important to know that you don't have to have your entire maternity leave planned out before you start telling your clients. This is a myth that I completely bought into until I realized that's just not how real life works. And our clients are incredibly gracious and understanding when we say, I wanna let you know that I'm pregnant and yet I don't yet know how exactly I'm going to structure that time once baby comes, except that I do know that I do plan to take some time off. Next, I really encourage you to consult with a trusted colleague or several trusted colleagues before you tell your clients. In particular, consult specifically on any cases that you anticipate your clients may have some significant transference towards you upon hearing this news or any clients you experience counter-transference towards. I know for me, this has come up particularly around clients who maybe have been trying to get pregnant for some time and haven't been successful in doing so, or who maybe have a significant history of miscarriage. Once it's time to start telling your clients, start by telling the easiest clients first. Now, of course, we absolutely can't anticipate how each client is going to react to this news that we're pregnant, but we often kind of have a sense of who's gonna have a fairly neutral or positive reaction and those who might have a chance of having some sort of stronger or more uncomfortable, painful reaction. Start by telling the easier clients first, so that way you get a little bit of practice in how you go about saying it, and you can sort of fine tune your process before you ramp up to telling some of the more challenging clients about it. Next, be prepared for your client's transference reactions to come at a delay, and for some of them, even the week before you go on maternity leave. Now, some of those clients who you sort of deemed as harder clients to share with in the previous step may surprise you by having a totally neutral or positive reaction on the outside when you tell them the news. 
However, it's been my experience in hearing from colleagues that a lot of these clients will then react later, whether it's the following session, months later, or the week that you're going on maternity leave. So be prepared for that and maybe have a designated colleague or two who's available so you hear from your clients if they need support once you're on leave. It's also helpful to make a plan for what you're gonna do about referrals as new potential clients are still contacting you once you're already pregnant. You may decide to simply set a date when you stop accepting new clients, or you can sort of do the open book method where you let potential clients know over the phone that you're expecting and when your approximate leave will begin and leave it up to them to decide whether they come or not. The potential issue with the open book policy is that when we leave the decision in a potential client's hands, they may not realize just how much work they have ahead of them in the counseling process. And if it's a month before you're going on leave, they may not realize that they're only just going to be getting the ball rolling before it's time for you to go. So personally, I've chosen a hybrid of these two options where at this phase of my pregnancy, I'm letting potential clients know over the phone that I am pregnant and I'm planning to go on leave in August, but they're still welcome to schedule with me if they choose. And then in just a couple of more months, I'm gonna set a hard, cut off where I'll no longer accept new clients because that just feels comfortable to me to have a few months buffer before it's time to go on leave to kind of clear up some of the work with the clients I'm already meeting with. The last piece I'd like to go over, which isn't necessarily related to telling your clients that you're pregnant, is that it's super normal to experience morning sickness in session. Remember how I said that I started planning for pregnancy two years before my husband and I intended to even start trying to get pregnant? Well, my biggest fear was that I was gonna be super sick, especially in the first trimester when I'm not telling anyone that I'm pregnant and that I wouldn't know how to navigate that with my clients when I get sick during session. The reality is you get sick during session. <laughs> There's no way to plan around that perfectly at least. My suggestion is to first just give yourself permission to have that experience. If you're not feeling well, even to the point of needing to excuse yourself mid-session, which I have needed to do, it's okay. You have to take care of your body even though you are also there for your client. Now, if you have a significant interruption like this, like needing to leave in the middle of the session to run to the restroom, it is up to you to decide how you wanna address that with your client. For me, I simply let my client know that I was feeling under the weather, I didn't charge them for the session and let them go home, and then months later, circled back and said, you know that time that I had to end our session? Well, actually, here's what was happening. And then I could disclose everything and they feel so relieved. Now, if you have a more anxious client and you might be only four weeks pregnant having this kind of reaction, you may choose to still reveal to them that you're pregnant even though you weren't planning on telling people just yet for the sake of their benefit. So it really is helpful to consult in these moments if your sickness is interrupting your sessions. Another note on this piece is just that I significantly changed my schedule around once I was pregnant because I get tired, I get sick, you know how it goes if you've been there. So I changed my schedule so that I wouldn't get into the office until a little bit later in the mornings and I would end a little bit earlier in the evenings and I also stopped seeing clients back to back because I need to go to the bathroom and eat a bunch of food and do all the things that you feel uncomfortable about while you're sitting in session. <laughs> So feel free to arrange your schedule accordingly and invite your clients to be flexible with you. Obviously, everyone has their own way of sharing with their clients that they're pregnant. Feel free to let me know in the comments below if there's any particular topics around pregnancy or maternity leave that you're interested in hearing more from, from me. This is my first pregnancy and I am really early on, but I can offer whatever information I gather as I go. I am definitely planning on posting a video of how to prepare financially for maternity leave because that is something I prepped for in the last couple of years and I can share with you how I'm doing that. Until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. I'm pregnant, woo 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 woo, yeah yeah yeah. Come here, did you see that? There she is. That's super important, but not necessarily. Oh, I get winded. Y'all pregnant ladies out there know what I'm going through. Full slept dog action.